Hey there my brownies, brown blog number 57 right here, and as you can see by that light fixture right there, we are staring at my ceiling, and as you can see by my shirt, I just got home from work, so, um, the reason we are staring at my ceiling is because my phone is being, being very temperamental, voice crack right there, very temperamental with its charger, and, uh, it took me some, uh, actually a decent amount of time fiddling around with it, and I finally got it into the right position, now it is charging, and I'm afraid to move it because it took me forever to get it to charge, so I'm not going to move it, and it's laying on my floor, and so we are filming from my floor today. Um, so anyways, as I said, I got home from work just now, so uh, this is why the video is going to be a little bit later today. Um, so, I think we can all agree we have plagiarized something before in our lives, now, uh, my friend Jared and I, Jared from One Asian One Cracker, uh, we, back in, I believe, grade 6, we plagiarized a, uh, nice little paragraph about Laura Secord from the War of 1812, not realizing that we'd be caught, because, you know, in grade 6, we didn't really know any better, and so, needless to say, our teacher caught us and made us stay after school and rewrite an actual paragraph about her. But, at university levels, plagiarism becomes a lot more serious than in grade 6, now, um, the amount of students they say that were caught last year plagiarizing was 1,000 university students were caught plagiarizing, yet they estimate that thousands more have been caught, uh, have done it without being caught. Now, the reason that many of them are not being caught is because they are not actually copying and pasting anything off the internet, they're not changing a couple of words, they are hiring people to do it for them. Now, there was, I just read a news article, and they had an anonymous uh, essay writer that says he's made over $30,000 last year writing essays for people. Now, I don't know about you, but if I had brains enough to write all that essay, and I got paid $30,000, I would do it. And he says that pretty much all those students don't care about school, all they want to do is party, and still somehow graduate, so he just writes all their papers for them. Now, this has become actually a very popular method by many university students, and there's still no way to catch it, because you can't really tell if it's their work. Because if it's a unique piece of work by someone else, you can't tell who wrote it, unless they have, like, a distinctive font they use, and for some reason they didn't use it, but... Still, you cannot catch people because it's not on the internet, it's not anywhere, and so they're trying to figure out ways to catch university students because, you know what, I don't really want a doctor who passed school because he was able to get essays written for him, because you know what, I don't want a doctor that only passes 50% of his stuff, I want a doctor that will always get it right, or at least 99% of the time, because I don't want a 50% doctor operating on me. But, um... That's not the only thing. There's actually a viral video that is going on on YouTube right now about a nice lady who was whale watching and got slapped by a whale. Now, the video was accidentally recorded because they were whale watching and uh, the lady's friend decided to whip out her phone and start uh, filming them because who wouldn't want to film whales, right? So anyways, the whale, not on purpose, accidentally slaps a woman in the face now, it's not the best angle because it was an accidental filming of it, but it was a rather hilarious video. It's on YouTube. It has over a million hits by now, and uh, it's just, it's going viral, so you might want to go check out Lady Gets Slapped by a Whale. It was an interesting video to see. Um, and on a slightly more serious note, uh, a lady in Halifax was murdered. Her body has been found. I forget her name, but... She was an aspiring lawyer going to university in Halifax, and she was murdered after going to receive um, over overdue rent from her tenants. Now, they don't know if the tenants murdered her because she was found on a highway, and so there's probably more investigation to go on, but her body has been found, which is a great thing for the family, but it's not a good thing that she's dead, obviously, but it's a, it's a, it's nice to know that the body's there. So her body has been found. If you were worrying about that, and uh, I'm really hoping that the actual murderer is caught, because you know what? Murder's wrong. Wrong. Alright, sorry, my video just cut out because I apparently ran out of storage on my phone. But anyways, like I said, I think we can all agree that murder is wrong, and I don't think anyone will ever say that's 
that it's a good thing unless you're an actual serial killer. So anyways, her body has been found. It's a good thing that it's been found, but not a good thing she's been murdered. And however, the ironic thing is actually she was a lawyer and she was just finished writing a thesis statement for an essay she was doing for university and it was about aboriginal women being murdered and so she was an aboriginal murderer she was an aboriginal woman who was murdered and there's some irony in the situation but anyways body's been found good thing it's been found bad thing she's dead and they haven't proven a murderer yet but they have claimed that they know all of the suspects and they're not looking for anyone else that it's one of the people they've chosen and so yeah i don't know anyways hope you guys have a good day don't murder anyone because the murder is wrong but eating brownies is good so go eat brownies don't murder and have a good day tomorrow goodbye